What's up, insiders? Connor here with your weekly newsflash. Let's get into it. All right, let's talk experiments. Over the next four weeks, we'll be experimenting with different metadata layout options for the channel profile section on Android to more effectively convey what a channel is about and to increase new subscribers gained. Now, to this week's most exciting update. Why is it exciting, I hear you ask? Well, it's because it's about mobile. What we're doing is re-adding the ability to change and update your channel banner on mobile. Currently, you can only do this on Studio Desktop. Now, the appeal of this is obvious. You will be able to set your channel banner image by selecting a photo from your photo gallery on mobile or simply taking a photo and setting it directly as your channel banner. Now, we'll be releasing this feature on iOS and Android as ever, Keep that feedback coming, you know exactly where to leave it. On to the About tab. Now, over the next few weeks, we'll be rolling out improvements both to the content and layout of the About tab for all channels. Why? To make it easier for users to get details about your channel. These changes are gonna include three things. Number one, a new layout for clearer presentation. Number two, showing the custom URL of the channel, linking to the channel share function. And number three, showing icons for channel links. Now, these changes are only gonna be live on mobile. Nothing on desktop is changing, but make sure you leave us any feedback or thoughts you have as to how we can make this better in the comments below or through the leave feedback link in the description. And that's about it from this week's newsflash, but not before we get to my favorite part, which is plucking one of those questions that you leave underneath the videos each week. And we bring those directly to the product team that manages that area and get an answer directly from them. Now, this week's question comes from Ben Lambert, who asks, if after I watch someone else's video on YouTube, at the end screen or in the side panel, I'm offered one of my own videos and do or don't click on it, does this affect my click-through rate? Really good question. To which the team gave the following response. Our systems learn from how viewers react when we recommend videos. All videos have a lot of impressions that don't result in clicks, so don't worry about not clicking your video when they're recommended to you. Our systems are designed also to focus on measuring authentic engagement to prevent users from trying to boost engagement on a given video by clicking on them a lot. Now, we're gonna leave a link in the description below that provides a lot more context. Now, that's it for this week. Make sure you leave those comments and questions underneath the video. Enjoy the rest of your week, and we'll see you next week.